And you may ask yourself, where is my tech news? It's here, it's here, it's starting now. Okay, st st calm down, it's, it's starting. This is not my beautiful wife! So demanding. USB standards have become increasingly confusing to the point where one can't be sure whether the fastest version is currently called USB 3.1 Gen 2 or USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2. It's very easily differentiatable. And I guess the HDMI forum thinks that's a good thing. Challenge accepted. Because as TFT Central recently reported, the latest update to the video standard rolls all the specs for HDMI 2.0 into HDMI 2.1, meaning monitors could be advertised with HDMI 2.1 support while not supporting the full HDMI 2.1 feature set, such that's as so useful. Thank 4K, you. 120 hertz, or variable refresh rate. I wanted this. The HDMI forum told F TFT Central it will be up to manufacturers to state which HDMI 2.0 point at one features the device supports, which honestly sounds so much simpler, because HDMI 2.0 is just like a word, man. And words are all made up, which is why I usually communicate primarily through facial expressions and grunts. <laughs> Can you believe I just said that? A critical vulnerability discovered last week in an extremely common open source logging utility called Log4j. <laughs> It sounds like Walk a for Jesus. jog. <laughs> the vulnerability continues to threaten huge swaths of the internet, including services by Apple, Amazon, Cloudflare, Steam, Tesla, Twitter, and even Baidu. I know you were gonna say it's China that did this, but they wouldn't hack themselves. They've been cracking down on big tech. The Log4j flaw was originally spotted being actively exploited on Minecraft servers last week and can potentially allow hackers full control over affected systems. While patches are being rolled out, the utility is so pervasive that it could still be exploited as evidenced by researchers demonstrating vulnerabilities in iPhones and Tesla cars that can be triggered with a simple name change. Massive HR provider Kronos has also just been hit with a ransomware attack, but we don't even know if that was a Log4j thing. We don't know anything. It's time to pay. No, calm down. I have all the toilet paper I need. <laughs> there are steps you can take to protect yourself. Just kidding, you basically have to wait for these companies to patch their systems. Thankfully, the past two years have done a great job preparing me mentally for constant invisible threats, so I'm fine. And Toyota has pulled a fast one on its customers who have been enjoying the ability to remote start their cars with their key fob since 2018. Some Toyota owners have discovered they were only able to use this feature thanks to a free three-year trial of the company's Remote Connect subscription that was in the fine print. Read the fine print, baby! And to continue using this feature, they need to pay $8 per month or $80 a year. Confusingly, cars built before November 12th, 2018 can continue using Remote Start without a subscription because that's when Toyota stopped building 3G networking tech into their vehicles, so... Uh, hooray for them? So confused as to why I would have to pay Toyota to use a remote that communicates directly with my car, especially when I've spent a lot of time with her and probably know her way better than Toyota does at this point. I love her. What are you going to do, baby? Back off! Get your own car, Toyota. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Build Redux, the PC builder striving to bring PC gaming to the masses with no price markups. You'll pay the same price for components that you'd pay if you bought them yourself, just with a flat $75 fee to have your PC built by a PC building expert. And yes, they look just as muscular as you're imagining right now. Get it in there. PC Express. Just select your budget, pick your games that you want to run, and see how they perform right on the website, and let Redux take care of the rest. All builds come with a two-year warranty, so click the link in the description and start creating your PC today. You're more important than any QuickBit could ever be. But the QuickBit's already booked this part of the episode, so we have to, you have to leave. You understand. Apple has done yet another kind of un-Apple thing and released an Android app called Tracker Detect which will let users detect nearby air tags that may be being used to stalk them. Oh, they did it. Were you excited? I didn't think they'd do it. I have so many stalkers. If the app detects a nearby air tag has been following you for 10 minutes, you can use it to force the tracker to play a sound so you can find it. What you then do with it is up to you. I would make a fish swallow it and release it into the river. And then kiss the fish and he becomes a prince. Ooh, <laughs> hey Tesla. Did you hear Mercedes-Benz just got certified as the world's first car maker to get regulatory approval for a level three self-driving system, which more or less allows drivers to actually not pay attention to the road, unlike the level two systems in other cars? Tesla, did you hear about that? 
Pretty cool, huh? You should probably get Elon to uninstall Twitter. Turns out Sony did have a reason to hound dbrand over its PS5 replacement plates, as the console maker just announced official PS5 console covers, along with DualSense controller covers, in a handful of colors. <laughs> Are they plastic? These ones don't have the extra ventilation holes of dbrand's dark plates, but they do have names like Galactic Purple and Cosmic Red. And they're official, so they probably look so good on Kratos' PS5, especially when he kicks Atreus off so he so he can play. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> get, get off! That's what he. You, you didn't play the game. The Halo franchise is well known for enabling silly sandbox gameplay, and Infinite is no exception, allowing players to do wacky things like grapple a warthog you just rocketed so you can basically fly. Well, 343 has no intention of patching out anything that allows you to do that, even if it lets players do very, very silly things, meaning that I Halo Infinite may very well take over Breath of the Wild's reputation for enabling some insane stuff out there in the open fields. Hyrule is being invaded by the Covenant! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just gotta see if I can gravity hammer this ghost into space. One second. Boom! Dennis is not gonna edit anything there. And batteries made out of wood? It's not a joke. They're being developed by a Swedish company called Ligna. <laughs> Ligma bow! <laughs> but why are they doing this? Because, quote, world is boiling. And, and so, uh, wood batteries. And we're gonna boil if we stand here all day, so come back on Wednesday for more tech news. It will not be boiled. It's probably gonna do something a little more interesting with it. Simmering. And a saute, a little bit of a deglaze flambe. the flambe.